Now, I want to go the other side. We talked a little about putting on weight. I want to know how what your philosophies are on fat loss and losing weight. Yeah, Tom, the biggest thing is diet first and foremost. You know, you got to, like my friend Chef AJ says regarding junk food, if it's in your house, it's in your mouth. You know, you got to keep uh, junk food away as often as you can. Uh, still have room for foods that you enjoy and, and fun foods and all that, but just don't eat, just don't eat uh, vegan pizza every single day that's covered in oily vegan cheese and sauces and things like that. And, and maybe don't have vegan ice cream every single night. Uh, maybe don't load up on a ton of calories right before bed. Um, you know, avoid some of the uh, super oil heavy dressings or super heavy processed foods or those loaded in sugars like most sports drinks um, that you're just not going to burn off and it's just going to get stored. And so diet first and foremost, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. You know, I, I don't eat any animal products, but I do eat some processed foods. You know, like I've told you that will have oils in them that will have flowers in them that will have, I mean, not, you know, not, not, not like pretty flowers, like tulips or daffodils, but you know, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Uh, baked goods or whatever, you know, I'll have pizza, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, the, the idea from my perspective and this is what I write about is that the majority of your calories should come from plant-based whole foods. And, and it's as easy as having a breakfast that is, whether it's oatmeal, maybe it's fruit, maybe it's a green smoothie, maybe it's uh, a cereal with a, a soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, something like that. Uh, it's, it's having things like potatoes and yams and sweet potatoes for lunch or like a burrito bowl with rice and, and vegetables and uh, avocado and, beans and all that. It's having the lentil soup. It's, you know, it's having uh, international cuisine, which is amazing, whether it's uh, you're talking like a, a vegan sushi, you know, Japanese food or, uh, or samosas, you know, vegan Indian food and, or, or, uh, you know, Thai food, which is pr probably my favorite, you know, fried rice or pad Thai or noodle dishes and, um, and fresh rolls with peanut sauce and all that. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, having, you know, real food as the, as the foundation, having as many berries as possible, as many leafy greens as possible. And then how you consume them is up to you. I like to eat berries just like by the handful, you know, and, and have lots of different fruits available, but some people that they like it better on cereal or on oatmeal or in a blender. And, and that's okay. You know, and, and leafy greens, like I'm not, I'm, I'll be honest with you, Tom, I'm not a big salad person. Like I, I think it comes from my, my competitive bodybuilding days of like, you know, I want to get the most, uh, I guess, calorie bang for my buck. I, I want, I want to eat heavier foods, even though salads are full of nutrition and all this, I just want something heavier, you know, cause I'm trying to get build muscle. So maybe salads, you know, they don't work for me all that often just in a salad, but I load up a sandwich, like maybe a tofu sandwich or a burger, or whatever, with tons, tons of greens. Um, sometimes I'll even use like a salad mix, you know, that even has like the carrots yeah. and the radish and, and, and cabbage. And I'll put that like in a sandwich. It sounds kind of strange, but it's a way to get those, those uh, vegetables and, and especially leafy greens, like, like romaine lettuce in there. Um, or, or I'll, I'll add it to uh, some other meal, uh, you know, cause I'm not a big smoothie person either, but there's ways to incorporate those foods. And so, you know, obviously diet's the biggest thing, but also you need to be aware of calorie intake um, versus expenditure. You know, what are you, what are you burning? You know, most people and probably upwards of 99.9%, a pretty high percent of people have no idea how many calories they expend every day or how many calories they consume every day. Really the only people who do are those often in the health or fitness field who maybe use like my fitness pal or chronometer or some way to, to document it. Even experts, doctors, physicians, best-selling authors, people in the plant-based world, they don't have a clue unless they've taken the time to document it. So, so why do we have things like obesity problems, especially here in North America? And I'm sure where you are too. Well, it's because we, we consume an excess of calories every day without knowing it. We, we, have, we have no idea how many calories are in our, our pastries or in our sodas or in our, um, our favorite desserts or even just in our favorite meals. I already mentioned some things like great foods that I really like, like samosas and Thai fried rice and all that, but there's a lot of oil in there. You know, there's a lot of extra calories in there. There's a lot of extra fat. And so you got to be aware of that kind of stuff. And so the, the food awareness and you can have control. That's the thing, Tom, you can, you can have 
especially coming from a bodybuilding standpoint, doing it for so long, burning fat was like, you know, you know, specialty of mine. That's what you have to be able to do to get up on stage and be in shape for bodybuilding. You know, I, I just had an understanding of what I was consuming every day and what I was doing for exercise every day. And if I want to eat a little bit more, maybe my appetite is just so that I want a little bit extra food. Okay. Well then I got to go for an extra 20 minutes on the Stairmaster or walking with the dogs or, you know, with the dumbbells at home, you know, whatever, like I've got to offset that. And so that awareness is so pivotal, pivotal. And, and so many people don't know that equation for themselves, what they're consuming uh, versus what they're expending. And most importantly, what types of calories they're consuming. How do we figure out how, how much we burn? Is that something that we look through like